Hi, I'm Rob Jan from Dynatrace, and I'm excited to talk about some of our use cases and the work that we do with PagerDuty. So thank you for attending. So just a takeaway that you can see that we've had from our CIO surveys that we recently did, but just the pace of change is continuing to accelerate, and that's driving changes to our architectures as folks are moving to the cloud. And all this is just adding a tremendous amount of complexity. And so here's some facts from our, our recent survey, which you're welcome to, to download from our site and see more insights. But the net of all this is that there's just less time to do the work that we need to innovate and make the business increase with features and things like that. And a lot of time is just spent on a lot of manual efforts, triaging things, just to keep the lights on. And so we know that this needs to change. And that's why we're here today to talk about addressing some of the pain points that probably some of you guys are, are feeling out there. So a big part of this is just the time spent to triage and find the problems within these complex architectures. And that just is a lot of manual work, looking at logs, looking at dashboards, looking at different silo tools, because we're just not seeing the big picture. It's a very complex environment that we're working with. And so it's important that we try to connect people together with context, understand who needs to work on what, get away from working in silo teams. And that's what we're here to talk about today. And so Dynatrace as a platform is, is really here to help that. We just know that we're more than just an observability platform of end users and infrastructure. We really tie things together kind of end to end across your hybrid cloud environments, multi-cloud environments, across a number of use cases. So here I'm going to talk a bit about automation specifically in an area we call um, automation for AI ops. And the heart of Dynatrace, what really differentiates us is our AI engine called Davis. And what it's doing is it brings in data, it's adding context, topology, tracing things end to end. And all it does is put this into a, an AI engine that gets to the automatic root cause of problems. So we can understand the business impact, the number of users impacted, and ultimately the root cause, which is then feeds into PagerDuty to resolve these issues. So the way that we make this happen is through an area of Dynatrace called Cloud Automation, which I got a demo, which is about you know, delivering software to production, as well as dealing with issues that rise in production. And what's exciting about uh, PagerDuty, they're also heavily involved and invested in an area called Runbook Automation, is one area where it's delegating tasks and automated sequences. And it's all about reducing the toil as they like to call it for this kind of error prone, repetitive work. So here I'm gonna walk through a demo of an incident management automation with both Dynatrace and PagerDuty. So starting on the left-hand side, I'm gonna trigger a problem within Dynatrace uh, to simulate a problem that it picks up. And then we're gonna have a cloud automation sequence begin a series of activities, starting with opening up a ticket with PagerDuty gathering some information around the state of the system, which is really saving the time for someone to look up at dashboards to get a, a quick, quick picture of what's happening. We're gonna add this information to our uh, PagerDuty comments. We're gonna add tickets information to both Dynatrace as well as our Slack channels. So here I have a very simple application and you can see that it's pre-built with a number of features that I can control with the feature flag where feature number one has no problem, feature two, I'm gonna receive a high error rate, uh, and that's the one I'm gonna simulate here. So I'm gonna quickly go into my uh, environment and perform this feature flag change uh, with the help of, of a continuous delivery pipeline, which is going to execute um, the feature flag setting it. And so as I refresh my screen of my application, we should see momentarily the application, there you go. The feature flag number two is on, and so we're going to start seeing errors happening uh, within our application. So here I am over in the Dynatrace screen, and what we're looking at is a time series view of different metrics, response time metrics, failure rates, et cetera, for this given sample application. And you can see that we're already starting to get some failure rates um, as being created by the feature flag change. So for sake of time, I'm just going to uh, speed up the video so we can see the error manifest. So if we move over into cloud automation sequences, we can now see that the problem has triggered an incident workflow. And so the part of this flow, we started off with a process to open up a ticket, which is a webhook call out to PagerDuty to do its work, and it's responded back with it's being finished. And then we've done a series of these notifications, which we'll walk into in a second. But first, let me go over to the PagerDuty side, and we'll take a look at the incidents that was just triggered here. So here we just opened up this uh, this one just now, uh, moments ago, 
and this was created and we can see uh, the ticket was was created assigned to my particular team and we can have information here already around the problem link back to Dynatrace we can see the the cloud automation sequence that that started this process and we can see uh, some of the details around the tags of the impacted item we go back to Dynatrace real quick we can refresh our ticket that's opened and we can see that um, you know one of the, the notifications was it's created a comment on the Dynatrace ticket to say hey an incident was opened when we can click on this and open up um, that same ticket that we were just on and there's various ways to do notifications here but we can see that um, our um, a message was sent to our Slack channel to also let us know that a ticket uh, has been opened. So if we take a look now back at the cloud automation side, we can see another interesting thing that it did was calculate our, our service level score. And if we were to look at this in more detail, this is one of the things that Dynatrace was doing was automatically gathering some key metrics for support engineers to see things around um, what was happening in the environment. So we have an idea of a criteria of wanting what, what constitutes passing. So here we can see various CPU metrics, process metrics, throughput metrics needed to be achieved. In our case, we have a very high failure rate, which is um, causing our overall uh, quality to fail. We can look back into Dynatrace and see um, the, the criteria for which that score was evaluated. So here we have different metrics of response times, um, failure rate, so we can see that we're having a high failure rate, um, and that's what ultimately triggered our particular failure. So now we're going to move into just showing what an engineer might do to solve this problem. So here we're going to show like we're in PagerDuty, and we want to trigger some remediation of this problem by calling um, runbooks that would do this work for us. So we're going to um, use uh, a, a series of steps in this automation of remediating, performing another SLO to see if our problem went away, as well as notifying um, PagerDuty with, with the notes of the service level, as well as notifying our teams. So let's take a look at that. Okay, now that I'm working my ticket, I want to do this remediation. So here, one of the features is having a remediation action. So here I'm gonna have a simple one, which is called set feature off, and I'm basically triggering that uh, incident action and where we can monitor that is over in PagerDuty Automation. So now we can see that we've just triggered this particular job and what, it, what has it done? So if we look into some of the details of what it did, um, it's rolling back our feature to version one. And then we can see it's triggered a cloud automation sequence. So here I am back in cloud automation. So now we can see our remediation process has begun. And what the process is doing is it's setting, setting a feature and so it was calling that same uh, GitHub um, job to set my feature. And now it's going through this evaluation request. And so if we look back at our sample app, here I am on my sample app, I refresh. Now you can see I'm on feature one again. So at this point, our feature flag has remediated the problem all in an automated way. What I expect is our service level should go back to normal. So if we take a look at Dynatrace, we can see since uh, we've sw switched the flag, our error rate has gone back to zero for the last couple of minutes. If we come take a look now at this automation sequence, we can see that the SLO has been reevaluated and we can take a look at our SLOs again. And we can see now we're all in green status with our last column because our failure rate um, now in this case, which is our failure rate, um, has, has passed the criteria and if we come back to our ticket, we can see that all through automation that our notes got automatically updated with our passing score. And now if we take a look at our, our Slack communications, we can also see that the on-demand SLO uh, was also a passing criteria. And we can go back and uh, have hyperlinks back to these tools. So with those demos, let's just wrap it up with, what, with why Dynatrace and PagerDuty we feel are better together. So what we're doing is bringing all the strengths of Dynatrace as a platform, getting to that root cause, having that automation of identifying problems, really is about get, ultimately getting to MTTR or mean time resolution when we're combining with a great platform like PagerDuty. So here, this is all about harnessing the data from Dynatrace, driving the automated workflows so that the right teams are involved and we can do things through a lot of automation, both on the Dynatrace side, as well as on the PagerDuty side. So again, if you're interested to learn more, just uh, don't hesitate to reach out to here at Dynatrace. Thank you again.